The rats were coming down on the Florida Panthers' ice tonight. I mean, they win an absolute mammoth of a game to go up 3-0 against the Carolina Hurricanes. A win away from the Stanley Cup Final. Could you imagine the type of psychedelics that a lot of us would have thought we were on if somebody told us a month ago, two months ago, dare I say five months ago, that the Florida Panthers would be one win away from the Stanley Cup Final against the juggernaut Carolina Hurricanes. Yes, Matthew Kachuk has completely Frankenstein this team to make them play the way he does, and man, has it changed their identity. Yes, Brandon Montour has morphed into an amazing top defenseman in the NHL. And yes, Sam Reinhart who was Jack Eichel's right-hand man for all the criticism in Buffalo, quote-unquote, you can't win with these guys. But the biggest surprise and the most shocking revelation of this whole playoffs is Sergei Bobrovsky. You don't need me to tell you. But again tonight, a 1-0 shutout in a game that honestly for the Florida Panthers was a huge one to take. I cannot believe, honestly part of me can believe it because Bobrovsky has literally been insane out of his mind for the entire playoffs but here we go again I mean this one was all him he's the reason the Florida Panthers won this game here how many times have I said that somebody tell me in the comments down below how many games has Bob stolen this playoffs he's been on the case Jay on right and I tweeted about it about a week ago before this series started that the Florida Panthers were going to be the 2023 Stanley Cup champions man they have the Disney magic yes you've got the hot goalie that you gotta ride that's almost essential to win the cup unless you're the Colorado Avalanche last year but also you have to have the magic the fairy dust for almost all of these players not just the Kachuks and the Barkovs of the world who of course were playing great but also guys like Radko Gudis Anton Lundell, Etu Lesterinen. These are the types of guys that you need crazy buy-in from in order to go on a deep run, and they need to be feeling it just as much as the top guys are, and are they ever. And it made me think, man, I mean, let's go back and rethink this narrative of, oh, the Toronto Maple Leafs choked in round two. I don't think that's the case anymore. Look at the Carolina Hurricanes ending up in the exact same position. It wasn't Toronto. There's something in the water in Sawgrass Mills over there in the, with the Florida Panthers. There's something crazy happening there, voodoo, that's going to affect, I think, any team that would go in there for a playoff series. And give them crazy credit, man. I mean, this team, they're skilled, they're fast, they play hard. And man, are they fun to watch. I mean, this has got to be one of the most entertaining 1-0 games I've seen in a long time. They're a fun-to-watch team. I'm not saying I'm cheering for them. I'm not going to come out here and say, oh, I'm a Florida Panthers fan. No, no, no. They're just extremely juicy and entertaining to watch. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.